I didn't apply a base coat because I'm kind of lazy and I also didn't apply a top coat because that would have defeated the purpose of this experiment. Just two coats of this Revlon scented nail polish which, by the way, I love the idea of a scented nail polish but I don't really want to be tempted to smell something that contains so many chemicals. Anyway, let's move on to the actual experiment. Round 1. I'm just spraying the Pam directly onto my nails, and my initial thought is that it's very hard to be exact, and it feels kind of greasy, but the upside is that it smells kind of like cake, and it's probably moisturizing my cuticles. I only waited about a minute or so before I started messing with the polish by wiping it off with a q-tip, and so far it looks good. And now I'm pressing on it with my finger to see if it moves around or feels wet, and again, we're good. And now I'm swiping at it with a paper towel. And after I do this, on closer inspection, I see a few dents here and there, but nothing major. And so now I'm going to wipe at it a little bit more intensely with a paper towel to see what happens. And unfortunately, some of the nail polish comes off. This wouldn't be an episode of Truth or Fail if I didn't try it at least twice, so here we go again. This time I'm using a different variety of Pam, and I cut to the chase by starting with the paper towel test, and again, no success. Round 3. It's back to regular Pam, and this time I'm waiting a little bit longer to touch my nails. And instead of wiping the Pam off, I'm washing it away with water. So now I'm trying the finger swipe test and it passes. And now I'm going in with my thumb and a little bit more pressure to see if the polish moves around. And it's not budging, so that's a good sign. And now for the paper towel. This time, the only thing that comes off is some of the greasy residue from the Pam. And here I am going in with a little more pressure because I really want to put it to the test, and we're still good. But on closer inspection, I do see some dents in the polish. This might be super nitpicky to some people, but if I'm going to spend the time doing my nails, I want them to look good, even super up close through a really nice camera lens. Honestly, I'd rather just use a fast drying top coat. I can be more precise and get a nice glossy finish. I think I'll just leave the Pam in the kitchen. Don't forget to leave your requests for episode 5, and as always, thanks for watching.